really important in skiing, especially the more dynamic you get, that you hold a really good arm posture. But the way we normally look at it, quite simply, is usually getting 45 degree angles or triangles. You see a triangle here under my arm, out to the sides, and if I'm sideways onto you, here, it won't be beside my body, it'll be forwards. Once you've worked on getting your arms in that perfect position, as we've talked about 45 degree angles or triangles forwards and out to the side, you can then really focus on getting that pole plant built into your skiing. You're mainly gonna use your pole plant in the shorter game, shorter radius turns. But if the arms aren't in the right position, the pole plant can actually cause you some issues. You might end up pole planting very close to your ski if your arms are too close to your body. So hands out here, the wrists have got to work for you. A lot of people throwing their arms, trying to reach for it, causes a lot of upper body rotation. Set your arms, use the wrists, and try and pick out your pole plants. Once you've got that position, the posture correct, think about the timing. The tighter the turn becomes, usually the more higher tempo the pole plant will become, and the timing of your pole plant will be the initiation of your turn. When you're making these pole plants, it's very important that you get a connection. So many people we see pole planting, literally, we call it a fake pole plant. It either drifts and scrapes the snow or it vaguely touches. We wanna see the basket getting a definite strength into that ground. When it happens, you get the ability then to be able to really use it in your short game, short radius turns, to project your hip to where you wanna go. Whether it's just moving it forwards and across your skis or in jump turns, getting off the ground. So this is a classic slope. You can see here, up in Zermatt, it's one of the well pisted slopes. We bring a lot of clients down here, but it's a challenge, you know. It's not a blue run and it's not a red, it's moving toward the black run gradient. So you've got to make sure that these things are kicking in and working for you. One missed pole plant can have a huge effect to about three or four turns because the body weight usually gets left back in the turn and the skis jet away. So let's take it nice and slowly, focusing just on the pole plant to begin with. Skiing across here, right hand pole plant. Get it ready, remember the wrist is gonna move it. Stab the ground, stab the ground, stab the ground, stab the ground, stab, 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 stab. 